Hello everyone, uh, let's solve this problem, reveal cards in increasing order. So this is a good problem and I really like these type of problems. So this problem will help you understand which data structures needs to be used. So first we will understand the problem and then we will see the examples. So please watch the video till the end for better understanding. Here you are given an integer array deck and there is a deck of cards where each card has a unique integer. The integer on the ith card is deck of i. So I think you understood this part. Now you can order the deck in any order you want. So if he will give the deck and I want to do any any type of reorder on the deck. Initially all the cards start face down in one deck. Okay. So let's consider you will do the following steps repeatedly until all cards are revealed. He is saying that first in any order initially all the cards start facing down. Consider this as my deck 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now take the top card of the deck and reveal it. So first I will take the top card which is my 1 and I will say I will show it. So first I will show 1. If there are still cards in the deck then put the next top of the card at the bottom of the deck. So this is my next top and I will keep that in my bottom of the deck. So I, I took this and I kept here. And if there are still unrevealed cards go back to the step 1. So in the next step this will be my 1 operation. In the next step I will reveal card 3. And in the same way these operations will go on. So what exactly we are doing here? So we are doing every operations on first two elements. In the first two elements we are performing the operation. And these will be three steps. So in first two operations we are what we are performing here? First in, first out we are performing. So these two operations we are performing and we are revealing it and this element we are keeping in the back. Then we are going for 3, we will be revealing it, we will reveal 3 and we will keep 4 in the back of my deck. So this is my first in first out. So which data structure it is? It is Q. So I think you have got it why we will be using Q here. The first thing is we will be using Q. Now let's see the examples for better understanding. Now we have this 17, 13, 11, 2, 3, 5 and 7 and he is saying that we need to reorder it such a way that revelation should be in a sorted order. So you can see here. 2, 3, 5, 7. If he has modified into this output and you can see all my revelations are in sorted order by performing these three operations. Now let's understand this. First we have this input and final result. What will be my final result? This will be my revelation order. This will be my revelation order and it should be in a sorted 2, 3, 5, 7. This should be an increasing order. First operations I will think about is like sorting. Whenever is saying that you should reorder the re, you can reorder the elements and everything first thing you should think about the sort so first i will sort it okay this will be my sorted array and these are all my indexes these are all my indexes so i will try to use q in q what i will do is so these are all my indexes so i will try to push all my indexes into the q so why we are pushing it we are pushing every element in the q and what we are doing is we will start performing this these three operations on the queue. So why we are pushing the indexes? So this is the important question. So we will be having queue and we are having some sort of answer stored and in answer we have this six indexes. So same as my queue. Now we are pushing the indexes into the queue because first if you take top element like this is my zero element. So first I will modify my zero element zero element and I will try to perform some operation on the queue and then I will get the my next element. Suppose your next element is some 3. So I will go and modify my 3 here. So that means if you are modifying first we are getting 0. So this will be my first revelation. And in the queue if there is 3. If the next step is 3 this will be my next re revelation. And this should be in a sorted order. This should be in a sorted order. This will be first smallest and this will be my second smallest. In this way in every revelation I will get to in a sorted order. So these are my i's and this is my k. First I will pop it. K, k will be my 0. K will be my 0. And answer of 0 is equal to v of 0. So this will be my sorted deck v of 0. So answer of 0 will be my v of 0. So here I will keep my answer. v of 0 is 2. So first revelation is 0. Now my q will be my 1 will go to the back. Yes my 1 came back and 0 got eliminated. My q is modified in this way. Now my k is equal to 2. So next revelation will be at index 2. So at index 2 I will keep my v of 1. So this I have sorted it in this way. 
I will keep my V of 1 here. Now, now, now we got this. Now we are at this index. Now, now we will push this. We are pop this 2 and we will keep this 3 to back of the array. Same that, that operations we are doing. Now we have 4, 5, 6, 1, 3. And k is equals to 4. Now my answer of 4 will be V of 2. Next relation will be my fourth index. And we will store here 5. We will store here 5. That's it. Now after modification my 4 get eliminated and my 5 will be go to the back. Now 6, 1, 3. My next relation is at 6. So answer of 6 is equals to V of 3. It's simple. We are just simulating 2, 3, 5 and we are having 7 here. So I think you, you are understanding. You are in the same path with me. I am hoping that. Now we will pop this out and we will keep this one at the end. So next relation at my index 3 and it will be my V of 4. At index 3 it will be my 11. In the same way we will go down and my next relation will be my 5 will go to the back, my 3 will get eliminated, it will be a 1 5. At answer of 1 it will be V of 5. At answer of 1 it will be 13. And finally we are left with index 5 and it will be 17. You can compare this. 2, 3, 2, 13, 3, 11, 5, 17 and 7. 2, 3, 3, 11, 5, 17 and 7. This will be my final answer. So I think you have got it was exactly we are doing. So try to implement the coding part by yourself so that you will improve your imagination skills. And if you tried and couldn't able to code by yourself, then you can watch the next part of the video. Now let's see the coding part. It's simple. It's simple. Wall. First we are taking Q and we are pushing the indexes into the Q. Then we are having the answer and we will checking not equals to q dot empty k is equals to q dot friend and it at that answer we are storing like right answer will be my revelation answer will be my revelations my answer of k this is my this will be my first revelation so it will be like v of i then we are popping it q dot pop we don't require that element if my q is not empty x is equals to q dot friend i will fetch my top element q dot push and q dot pop and incrementing i and finally we are returning the answer so i think you have got it what exactly we are doing we have simulated everything now think about time complexity after seeing this you will think okay can it be an end to end because we are using q and every time we are checking no now now let's see first consider total we have 10 elements in the first step five elements will get eliminated five elements get eliminated now i will perform operations on five elements in the next step my three elements will get eliminated so it will be like two the next step one in the next step it will be zero you can see here first step will be n n by two n by four n by eight so on it will reach one so if you sum all this n plus n by two plus n by four plus n by eight so if you do this it will be my n into login n into login so like it's simple like you will take n and it will be 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8. If you do all these derivations, you will get this as log n. So my answer will be n into log n. So that's it. So the constraints are very small. You could have gone with the brute force approach. And here we are using some extra space. We are using q. So it will be like order of n. So I am hoping that you understood this. If you have any feedbacks, it is whether it is positive or negative, everything is welcomed. So if you like the solution, uh, if you understood the solution please do like and if you are new to the channel please do subscribe and don't forget to join my whatsapp community there we will discuss all the problems related to coding and you can connect with me on linkedin thank you